Hi, I'm Tiffany Burton. I chose the author Jane Yolen. She was born on February 11th in 1939. She was born in New York City at Beth Israel Hospital. Her parents are Mar. Um, her parents are Isabel and Will Yolen. Um, they're both writers. Her dad had a, a real writing job. And her mom did short stories that were never published, but she also did crossword puzzles. She made those by hand, and I think that that is absolutely fantastic. I can barely make one on the internet, and so for her to make one is just amazing. Um, some fun facts about Jane. She was married in 1962 to David Stimple. They had three kids, and they have a whole slew of grandkids. Her husband actually died in 2006 of cancer, and so since he died, she's just been kind of traveling around, um, doing book tours and seeing kids and grandbabies and just kind of enjoying her life that way. Um, her first book she ever published was on her 22nd birthday, and it's called Pirates in Petticoats, and I can't imagine a better birthday present. I have never even attempted to be published, but I can only imagine it's a really difficult journey. So all together, I think she's published around 365 books. So she's published over 300 books. And for, for an author, I think that's incredible. That's a lot of books. She writes for more than one genre. So I think that helps a lot. So she writes science fiction and children's literature, she writes poems, she writes historical fiction, fantasy fiction, fairy tales, folklore, suspense, informational, science fiction, I think it's said science fiction. So she writes all these genres of books. And of all the biographies I was reading on her questions from readers, they kept asking her, you know, do you have writer's block? Do you ever struggle with, you know, finishing a book? She's like, nope. I just have so many projects going at once that I can just carry on. I just, if I can't work on this book, then I quit and I move on to a different book and then I can come back to that one later. So it was really interesting to read that. I didn't, in my mind, you know, you have the one book and you work on the one book and then that's it. So when this is done, then I'll put it down and I'll move on to the next one. But everybody's different. So I thought that that was really interesting. Um, she's won a whole slew of awards. Uh, the Caldecott, uh, two Nebula Awards, a World Fantasy Award, um, the Golden Kite Award, the Skylark Award, and uh, there was a National Book Award. She didn't win it, but she was a, a nomination. So she was nominated to win it, and I think that that's a really big deal, um, especially considering... She writes for so many genres, and she just has won all these awards. She's just an amazing author. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to read to you How Do Dinosaurs Count to Ten by Jane Yolen. And Mark T does the illustrations in here, and they're great as well. So dinosaurs counting starts with one, one tattered teddy bear just for fun. Try it like this. Two big balloons tied to the bed. Three toy trucks painted blue, green, and red. Four balls that bounce. Five big letter blocks. Six, oh, and under the bed, six dirty socks. Zoom in on that illustration there for you. A track, an engine, and seven cars. An easel with eight full paint jars. Nine pictures hanging on the wall. Ten books to read, and that is all. Now that he's counted from one to ten, how does a dinosaur count again? And then these are my favorite part of these books. But if you look right here, you can see the name of that dinosaur. And so it has this on each page. And then in some of the, the other books I have, you can actually see like the front page 
has like all kinds of dinosaurs on it. It's really interesting. Um, so that is How Do Dinosaurs Count to Ten. Again, Jane Yolen is an amazing author. She's written over 300 books wow. in more categories than I can even, or for more genres than I can even begin to imagine. Um, she was married. She's a widow. She's got three kids. And she's an award-winning author for more than just one incredible award. So, um, my activity for this would be to get some finger dinosaurs for my kids to put on their fingers. And then I would give them ten each. And that's kind of a lot for little kids. Because once they get stuff, they like to play with it. So, once we all got settled down, I would have them show me one dinosaur. So, they would put one dinosaur on their finger. And then they would show me three dinosaurs on their finger and so we would do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um and then I would you know would say random numbers like show me seven dinosaurs I read today that kids really struggle little kids really struggle with showing you one items this is two items this is three items um so they can count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten but they really struggle with saying that this is one and this is two so that would be an activity that I would work on. And then after we got done with that, then we would break our dinosaurs down into different categories. We would say, you know, this is, these are all red dinosaurs. All these dinosaurs have wings. All these dinosaurs have tails. So we would just kind of do different little activities to work on our one-to-ones and our two-to-twos. And then we would also show our kids how to break things down into different colors and if you noticed in this book it has a lot of different colors like there was the two different uh, balloons there's a red and a purple balloon and the cars are different colors um, the balls are different colors the socks and the train cars are different colors so there's lots of different activities you could do with this book um, again my name is Tiffany Burton thank you for your time I appreciate it